Every video game has a skill tree. That's because they want you to know how to progress through the game and actually get better and have a visual representation for how you have progressed through the game. You usually start off the game having no skills, no points, no experience, but as you go up and you reach the late game, you become a force of nature. So I've always wondered what a skill tree for real life would be. And what I'm gonna show you right now is the skill tree which I've been using since 2018. This skill tree is gonna contain nine metrics and these nine metrics are gonna allow you to do two things. The first is gonna show you a snapshot of your life as it is right now. And with it, you're gonna be able to create a high resolution image of your life in one year and 10 years time. So you actually have a destination that you can have a direct plan towards. So this is the tool that you're gonna to use to create your one year plan. And does it work? Absolutely, it works. I've been using it since 2018. It gives me a high resolution image of what I've achieved in the past year and gives me a clear focus as to what to do the next coming year. The way this works is there are three inner vertices, which are the core of this framework. And the very first one is of course, health, it's fitness. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a dumbbell here to symbolize fitness. There we go. And what do I mean by fitness? I don't necessarily mean get jacked as possible. I'm talking about vitality and vigor and energy in life. I'm talking about having the energy and drive and mental resilience to push through any obstacle and actually achieve your goals. I'm talking about a baseline level of health which goes throughout your life. I'm talking about hormonal health, which is the basis for strong physical body and also a clear mind. Of course, that is a topic onto itself, but that is really the first metric which gives you access to the second metric, which is finances. So oftentimes our first goal is to make money. This is backwards. You need to first have the mental bandwidth to think about how to make money. You need to have the physical endurance to actually do the work required to make money. So you start off with fitness and use that as a resource towards building your wealth. And the second metric is the dollar sign, which is finances. So basically your baseline for fitness is can you see your abs and do you have a score about 500? And the baseline score for finances is if you're making $10,000 per month. That's your baseline. If you wanna achieve more than that, awesome. If you have this and this dialed in, then you have unlocked the new frontier, which is freedom. With the baseline of health and a baseline of finances, you now have access to freedom. I'm gonna to try to draw an eagle here. Let's see how well that comes out. There we go. Eagle as a symbol of freedom. So let's recap a little bit. This is your tier one. Let me actually write that down. So tier one has three components, which is fitness, finances, and freedom. And then speaking of freedom, I'm specifically talking about time and geography freedom, a reasonable ability to travel where you want, and a reasonable ability to work when you want. And you'll notice that all the components of tier one are completely depending on you. You don't really need anybody to give you permission or give you even help. You can achieve all these by yourself. You have all the resources available online to learn how to do any of these things. You can refer to my earlier videos on how to have the perfect nutrition. I even have a nutrition course at this point. But once you've done that, then you start making money. And when you have freedom and when you have finances, you are able to serve your family. This could be your parents or it could be your kids if you have any. So with freedom of time and with actual financials, you can serve your family. Let me put down the symbol for family, just a cute little genealogy chart. So you see how this is like a skill tree, right? You unlock fitness that allows you to unlock finances. You unlock finances that allows you to unlock freedom. When you unlock freedom and when you unlock finances, you have the ability to unlock family. And when you have fitness and when you have freedom, that's when you are going to make your best friends. At this point, you have the ability to build a fraternity, a brotherhood. So with freedom and fitness, you'll have the respect of others. You'll have the respect of men just like you. And with that respect, you build fraternity. I'm going to try to draw a handshake if I can. And that is our second tier two metric. So tier two, we have family, fraternity, and third one, when you have a degree of fitness and a degree of finances, you are now attractive to females for the first time, you can unlock the feminine. So you have now access to a new skill or new metric of embracing the feminine aspects of life. That means it could 
be a wife. It could be a girlfriend. Not sure what that is for you, but it's only after you unlock these two that this tier really becomes accessible. But you see, this is still incomplete. There is another tier which is missing from this. A tier that's grander and greater than anything on the diagram so far. This is tier 3. And you'll notice that in tier 2, you're depending on other people. Family requires interaction with other people. Fraternity requires interaction with other men. The feminine requires interaction with women. Whereas tier 1 was mostly just yourself. Tier 3 is an interesting bag because it involves others, but truly it's a inwards journey. Let's start off with finances. So finances, when you upgrade this to tier 3, looks like this. It is the foundation. It is the legacy that you leave behind. This is beyond just making money. This is the thing which you leave behind when you die. This is the thing that you'll be remembered for. This is the foundation you will create something. You will create something that endures past your life. This could be a work of art. It could be a book series that you write. It could be YouTube videos for all I know. It could be a business. It could be a physical structure. This is the thing which gives you immortality. This is the foundation. This is the tier three. This is above just making money. And the same way, you can level up your game with fitness. So fitness is basically having a high level of testosterone, a high level of fitness, you have endurance, you have muscle, cool. But there's a level above that, and it's called flow. When you are doing a physical activity, which requires your 100% concentration, and it requires a level of skill, that you are at the periphery of your ability. That is to say, like if you're playing tennis, and you're playing with a guy who's just slightly better than you, and if you really push yourself, and you can match his pace, you are in a flow state. And flow state doesn't have to be physical. Flow state could be artistic. For example, a writer who's really writing an essay which is very difficult for him, at the edge of his ability to communicate, that could leave him in a flow state. If you're a public speaker and you're giving a speech about a difficult topic, you're trying to communicate a complex idea, you could be in a flow state. So a flow state is basically your physicality but it's accelerated to the highest possible level. So your flow state is when you're pushing your ability so hard that there's a real risk of failure. And to do this, you need to get really good. So this is not just your baseline anymore. This is when you are truly building a art form out of your body. This is flow. I'm not sure how to drop a wave. I'll try. Okay, that's my best approximation of a wave. Looks like garbage, I know, but hey, the best I can do at this point. And that is your upgraded form, your upgraded tier of fitness. And the same way you can upgrade your freedom as well. What you're going to realize is, even though you've achieved so much, there's still going to be an inner layer of fulfillment you still need to achieve. So we complete this. The second item in tier 3 is flow. And the third is fulfillment. That's what you get when you upgrade freedom. I'm going to draw myself meditating. And the thing here is, I have not achieved this, right? I don't really know how this feels like, but I've, but I've had glimpses of it. When you're truly satisfied with your accomplishments in life, that's when you have a feeling of true fulfillment. And that is your tier three. So this is tier one, the inner triangle. Tier two is one step accelerated. And tier three is even more broad, even more deep. Now the question is, how do you use all this framework to create your actual one-year plan? And the answer is, you will create yourself a table and on the table, you're going to have the current state and you're going to have your desired state. And I'm going to use these as prompt to write about your current and desired state. So you'll go ahead and start with tier one, your fitness, financials, and freedom. Write down your current state of fitness. So for me, I'm about 170 pounds, fairly lean. That's going to be my current state. My desired state, so I'm going to write my current state, I'm going to write my desired state. My desired state is 180 pounds at the same level of leanness. So that's my desired goal at the end of the year. Regarding finances, my current state is 10K per month. My desired state is 30K per month. Regarding freedom, I'm actually very happy with my progress over the year. So you can also use this to assay your past year's performance. Over the past year, I've built out this YouTube channel, I've built courses, I've built a community. And to achieve full-time status on YouTube in a year, that's a big achievement in my opinion. So I'm very happy with my progress towards freedom. So I'm going to write my current state of freedom, how much freedom I have right now, and then my desired state. In the same way, I'm going to go to tier two. Right now, my family, I don't really support them as much as I could. The desired state is I've retired my parents. So that's my desired state for family. 
Regarding fraternity, over the past year, I created a private community, a paid private community called the Country Club. And that gives me a sense of fraternity with my like-minded peers. However, I want to take this to the next level. I want to do in-person events with them. So that would be my current state is KCC as it is. And my desired state is to incorporate live events. And right now, that's all the metrics that I'm going to focus on. For the next six months, I'm going to focus on just these. I'm just going to focus on fitness, finances, freedom, family, and fraternity. Once I'm comfortable in those metrics, then I will progress on to embracing the feminine, the foundations of my legacy, achieving the flow state, and achieving fulfillment. Because like I said, this is a skill tree. You cannot focus on everything at the same time. You have to go piece by piece. And yet, there is actually one component which I've purposely left out until this moment. Because I only want to share this with those who have stuck with the entire video at this point. The final component is faith. And you can interpret faith in the way that you want, the way that it works for you. But at the foundational level, this is faith in oneself. This is blind faith. Blind faith in your destiny that no matter what happens, that you have a destiny to fulfill. You don't need any science. You don't need any justifications. You don't need logic. You don't need reason. This is meant to be blind faith. And that is at the center of it all. I'm going to draw a crown to represent its importance. This is the most important tier. And you can start off your journey and you can sustain your journey only once you have a degree of faith in your success before you achieve anything. And there we have it, boys. That is the skill tree. That is the 9F framework. I can actually help you a little bit more. So regarding nutrition and fitness specifically, I'm going to provide you the esoteric food pyramid, which really gives you an understanding of what nutrition really looks like. 